Dave, another big game tomorrow. I suppose, do you believe it's kind of even bigger considering our last result? And for you, is it like bouncing back and trying to give a performance that we know that we can give? Every game's a big game. Every game's an important game. Um, uh, as much as it's a big game, I don't think it's any bigger than like I say, last one, what last Saturday's was. And for us, it's our next game, so it's the most important. And that'll that'll be the change when all the same when we move on next week and go to Eastleigh and go to Yeovil and, and play at home to Wrexham. They're all they're all big games. Um, it's the next game for us, um, and it's a, like I say, it's, a, it's an opportunity to right what wrongs the word on on Saturday uh, which that's like for, for me is the most most important bit we worked hard this week spoke to the players around our thoughts got their thoughts um, I've put that into into work we've done on the on the, on the training pitch and like so hopefully we, we from my perspective we see improvements in terms of what we've what we've done this week out there can be taken into a, a performance that we can see on Saturday like say against Strong opposition, stronger opposition than we're, than we're used to playing against. So um, the the sort of tactical stuff that we have done is going to be tested even more. So, what reaction have you got since last week? Is it one that you wanted, expected? You know, you can see the lads were completely disappointed. But has, has the work really been put in during the week? The, the, the work they do is never in question. Uh, even even after <coughs> if this after after Saturday, if I look at. Which we do. We look at we look at GPS and we look at what work we've done. Did we did we work less hard on on Saturday in a in a, in a loss than we had the previous week? Now we're, we're right up there in terms of the work we're doing. Um, the, the problem we had um, Saturday was that probably mentally we let the, the the manner of the goals, which were really really poor goals, affect what we were doing moving forward. The start of the game. You, 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 We've said before in terms of our our mentality to, to go and try and win the game in the in the first 20 minutes. We lost the game in the first 20 minutes, um, or we, we gave ourselves a mountain to climb within the first 20 minutes. You want to then get a foothold, and the third goal is a um, like I say is, is, a, is, a, is a killer. Um, so we've got to like to learn from that. There's been some individual stuff in terms of defensively as a unit and positions we want to put people in and where they need to be and then there's that there's that attitude there's that mindset that um, one doesn't become two and two doesn't become, become three um, because like I say that was as a, as a, as a group something that um, didn't see coming we don't expect and we've got to make sure that you, you take it on the chin and say that won't happen again so looking to tomorrow's game They've brought a new manager in. Obviously, I know that won't change your game plan whatsoever. But how much do you think that change and affects the tie altogether? Uh, I don't think it has a, a significant effect on the on the tie. The, 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 like I say, that regardless of who's in charge of them, they go into the game as, as favourites as the, as the League Two team. I get that playing at home. Um, so we're the underdogs. That's not that's not changed. Um, it doesn't change my my thinking. We can we can look at it and look at their their stuff between the start of the season and now. Their, like I say, they've had a decent, a good start. They want to get promoted from that division. They've got good players. Whether they choose to use the the, the, the game as an opportunity to, to look at other things, whether they go full strength with what they've been over the like the previous weeks. Again, we're, we're sort of speculating, we're guessing. So um, we'll look at us, um, get what we need to get from the game in terms of how we start. Personnel, shape, whatever else, not. Um, but also, we look to go on with. Just finally, obviously, when this goes out, we have fingers crossed announced a new defender. You know, was that something always on the cards? And can you explain a little bit about you know Tyler coming in from Blackburn? Yeah, so we, we needed to get we need to get defenders in. Uh, we were obviously short. We 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 still hope that in the coming weeks we were able to bring bring another one in um, just to cut to cover cover where we are. The difficulty. Um, this week is that um, we've done lots and lots of lots and lots of work to see who's available. It's FA Cup this week for for clubs and it's EFL Trophy uh, next week. So maybe an experienced ones that may have been available all of a sudden for the next couple of weeks aren't available. Um, but in terms of not probably experience of lots of games, but experience in terms of level. Tyler's had a had a, had a League One loan with with, with Rochdale. Um, like I say. Comes highly recommended. Um, I've seen bits of him in Blackburn in their, in their 23s, and they 
be. I feel he has a like I say really really bright future. He fits into what what we want in terms of um, as a defender. Probably a big strength of his is his is his pace and his ability to, to defend one v one. Um, and like I say, will be um, a, a really, really, really good asset. One that we're really looking to to work with. Uh, hopefully, like I say, he can he can hit the ground running, and is the first of maybe um, maybe another one possibly coming in over the, over the next few weeks. Dave, thanks very much. Cheers, thank you.